Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a fun riddle that has been used as an interview question at tech companies like Microsoft. After a company camping event, four engineers find themselves lost near an old and rickety bridge. In order to get home, they all need to cross the bridge, but they face several difficulties. The bridge is so old and narrow that it could only hold two people crossing at a time. They have one torch, and it is so dark, the torch must be carried when crossing. Each person crosses the bridge in a different time. The four crossing times for the group are one minute, four minutes, five minutes, and eight minutes. When two people cross together, they cross at the slower person's time. So if the two people crossing at one minute and four minute cross together, they will cross together at four minutes. Being engineers, they were not satisfied to simply cross the bridge. They wondered, what is the fastest time that they can all cross the bridge? This is puzzle one. Puzzle two, will have the crossing times of one minute, two minutes, five minutes, and eight minutes. And now for a final challenge, imagine the group had six people. Puzzle three, the crossing times are one minute, four minutes, five minutes, eight minutes, nine minutes, and 12 minutes. What is the fastest time that they can all cross the bridge? Let's solve these puzzles one by one. We'll get started with puzzle one. Let's identify the four people by the time each person takes across the bridge alone. So we have a bridge. We'll keep track of each step and the time each step will take. A naive strategy is just to send pairs across and send the fastest person back. So let's start out by sending one and four across. We will denote this as plus parentheses one comma four and this will take the time of the slower person, so it will take four minutes. Now let's send the fastest person back, which is one minute. We'll denote this by negative parentheses one. This will take one minute. Now let's send the next pair of one and five. This step will take five minutes. We will send the fastest person back, which is one. This will take another minute. And finally, we will send one and eight, and they are all across the bridge. So this step will take eight minutes. We can now add up the total time, and this will be four plus one plus five plus one plus eight, which is 19 minutes. And it turns out with these numbers, this is the optimal solution. Let's call this strategy fastest person returns because each time the fastest person is crossing the bridge and returning with the torch. Now let's solve puzzle two. We have crossing times of one, two, five, and eight minutes. Imagine we employed the strategy of fastest person returns. So we start out with one and two crossing, which will take two minutes. Then one will go across, which will take one minute. Then we send one and five across, which will take five minutes. We send one back, which will take one minute. And finally, we send one and eight across, and this will take a total of eight minutes. We add up all the crossing times and we get to 17 minutes. And this is a good solution, but it turns out that fastest person returns is not the optimal solution. So what is the fastest time? In order to solve this puzzle, you need to use some outside the box thinking. So let's reset the problem. To get started, let's send one and two across, which will take two minutes and then we will send one back, which will take one minute. So far, so good. Now, instead of sending one and five, sending one back, then sending one and eight, what if instead we lump the two slowest people? So now let's send the two slowest people, five and eight across. This will take a total of eight minutes, and now we can send two back. So this will take another two minutes. Finally, we can send one and two across, and this will take a total of two minutes. The total time in this strategy 
will be 2 plus 1 plus 8 plus 2 plus 2, which is 15 minutes. This solution is 2 minutes faster, and it is an optimal solution. Call this strategy group to slowest. Now this problem is indeed a popular puzzle, and I've heard it so many times. But one thing I've never read anywhere, and has always bothered me, is how do we know this is the fastest time? Has it ever been mathematically proven? I did a little bit of research, and I came across a wonderful paper by Gunther Rota, Crossing the Bridge at Night. The paper demonstrates an optimal solution, and solves the general case of the bridge crossing puzzle. I encourage those interested to read the full technical details in the paper. But what I found mind-blowing about the paper is not only that it proved the optimal solution for the case n equals 4, it also explains you can essentially generalize that strategy to solve any larger case. So in order to understand that, let's take a step back. Let's go to the case of n equals 2. We have to be careful to set up the problem. Let's say we have two people who can cross in a minutes and b minutes, and a is less than b. So how can they cross the bridge? Well, there's really only one step. They both cross together, and this will take b minutes. So now let's reset the problem and go to n equals 3, where c will be the next person, and that c will be a larger number than b and a. So how do we solve this case? Again, there's really not much to do. We can just work this out by brute force. So we just work where the fastest person returns. A and B go across. This is going to take B minutes. Then A will return. That will take A minutes. And finally, A and C will go across together. This will take a total of C minutes. So the total time will be A plus B plus C. So now let's go to the next case where we have N equals four and we add a fourth person that crosses in D minutes, where D is larger than C. As we demonstrated in the video before, there are two possible strategies. One is that the fastest person returns. So we have A and B go, which will take B minutes, then A will go back, that'll take A minutes. Then A goes with another person C, which will take C minutes, and then A goes back, which takes A minutes. Finally, A and D cross, and that'll take D minutes. So the total amount of time in this case will be 2a plus b plus c plus d. But there is another strategy that could work in the n equals 4 case, which is to group the two slowest. So we start out where a and b go across, which will take b minutes. We send a back, which takes a minutes. Now we send the two slowest people. So this will be c and d, and that will take d minutes. Then we send b back, which will take b minutes, and finally, A and B will cross, which takes B minutes. The total amount of time in this case will be A plus 3B plus D. So when we're solving N equals 4, we have two possible times. One time will be for the fastest person returning, and the other time will be for grouping the two slowest. We want the fastest time, so we need to take the minimum of this. In some cases, the fastest person returning will be the best strategy, and in other cases, you want to group the two slowest. So now we're ready to proceed with the general case. To do an example, let's consider n is equal to 5. Suppose the fifth person crosses in e minutes, where e is greater than d. How can we solve this case? Well, let's imagine all we're doing is focusing on the two fastest and the two slowest people in the group. So let's just focus on a, b, who are the two fastest, and d, e. So let's cross out person C. Imagine this person didn't even exist in the group. Well, now we have a group of four people. So we can employ the strategy of the four person case. We will consider the fastest person returning from these four people or group two slowest just according to these four people. Once we figure out a strategy, let's say it is best to group the two slowest. We can then use this strategy to solve the problem. So we have A, B, D, and E. We know the best way to send D and E across, so we send everyone across the bridge according to group 2 slowest. But we don't need to take that final step of sending A and B across. We now have A, B, and C on the left side of the bridge. But guess what? 
we know the fastest way to solve this problem because we have already solved the case of n equals 3. So we can then use the solution for n equals 3 and send everyone across. So here's the procedure to solve the general case where n is greater than or equal to 4. Start by making a subgroup of 4 people. This group will be the two fastest and two slowest of the entire group. Determine how to get this group of four across. You want to see whether fastest person returns or group two slowest will be better. This will be the technique to transport the two slowest. You use this procedure just before the two fastest will cross. What will remain is n minus two people that need to cross the bridge. You can then repeat steps one through three and solve recursively for n minus two people. Eventually, you will get to a case that's already been solved. So now for the grand finale, which is puzzle three, where we have six people with times of one, four, five, eight, nine, and 12. So we'll get started by creating a subgroup of four people, which is the two fastest and two slowest of the entire group. So this will be one minute and four minute. These are the two fastest and we have nine minutes and 12 minutes. So what is the fastest way to get this group of four across? We can use the strategy of fastest person returns. This will take two A plus B plus C plus D. This is equal to a total of 27 minutes. We could also use the strategy of group two slowest. We have a formula for that and this will be equal to 25 minutes. Since 25 is less than 27, the fastest strategy is to use group two slowest. That'll be the fastest way to take nine and 12 across. So let's employ this strategy. We will get started by sending one and four across the bridge. This will take four minutes. We now send one back. This will take another minute. We now want to group the two slowest, so we send nine and 12 across. This will take 12 minutes, and now we send four back, which will take four minutes. So we've solved the problem of sending nine and 12 across. We now have exactly four people that need to cross the bridge with times of one, four, five, and eight. What's the fastest way to send four people across the bridge? It will either be the fastest person returning or grouping the two slowest. As it turned out, these are exactly the numbers that we used in puzzle one. So we already figured out that the fastest way is to use a strategy of fastest person returns. So as we've already solved this problem, we will just copy these steps and send all four of these people across. We can now sum up the time it takes and this will be equal to 40 minutes. And that's the optimal answer for these six people to cross the bridge. What a delightful and wonderful puzzle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.